Good morning, guys. Um, today we will discuss uh, worksheet 42, specifically number 9, which is of particular interest when you are talking about the first and third laws combined. So, in order to work on this situation, which shows several different strings, you have to be aware that there is a need to separate the problem into several situations. First of all, we will discuss whatever is going on in this point that we call number one. And then in this point, it is clear that you have three different forces acting. So we will make a free body diagram for number one and it goes like so it says that the weight is 476 newtons and there are two strings each of them at 60 degrees to each other symmetrically upward to each side now because of the symmetry, we can safely assume that the tension is the same on both of them. If that is so, then it will become very clear that the angle with the vertical is 30 degrees, because the whole angle is 60, and so the angle with the x-axis is 60 degrees, and therefore, you can easily see that your equation for the y direction should give you the answer for this. The sum of forces in the y direction is equal to zero, which means that tension in the y direction plus tension in the y direction minus the weight is equal to zero. You substitute each of the components and you add them up. So that's 2 times tension C times the sine of 60 degrees is equal to 476 newtons. And so your tension C is equal to 476 newtons divided by twice the sine of the angle and that's pure arithmetics so your tension C is equal to 274.8 newtons so that is your first that is your first answer what is the tension in C for your second answer You need to find the tensions in the A direction and the B direction. But the situation here is as follows. Over on this point, you have a tension like that, which is the same as a tension like this because of the third law, that's TC. Then you also have a tension in the A direction and you also have a tension in the B direction. Now, if you do a free body diagram of that, this is what follows. It is easy to see that if the C that's that if tension C had 60 degrees with the x-axis on one side then this one is going to have 60 degrees on the other side and so this angle is 60 now string B has a tension to the left as you can see in the picture and string A 
shows a tension and these two angles are what we call alternate interior angles therefore this angle is 30 degrees with the horizontal and that is your tension TA so our job now is to find tension A and tension B interestingly enough more can be done if you first do your sum of forces in the y direction so in the y direction you have that the sum of forces in y is equal to t a y minus t c y and that's equal to zero now why don't we include tension B? Basically because tension B is completely horizontal. So it doesn't have a Y component. So all you get is TA sine of 30 degrees is equal to TC sine of 60 degrees. A little bit of algebra and TA is equal to TC which we know from before times sine of 60 divided sine of 30 now if you use enough decimals in your calculator this should give you something very very close close to 476 newtons and so that will be your answer for tension A finally you can easily find tension B by doing the sum of forces in the X direction sum of forces in the X direction is equal to T A X minus T B X, which is only T B, minus T C X, and that's equal to zero. Now, those last two are negative because they are both pointing to the left. And so, what you have here is T A X, which is 476 newtons, times the cosine of 30 degrees minus TCX which is 278 point sorry 274.82 times the cosine of 60 and that is equal to TB using enough decimals this happens to be equal to 274.82 newtons and that's your last answer the tension in the b string and now you can look at this and see quite an interesting development tc and tb are both parts of the equilateral triangle and they all have the same value 278.8 newtons while on the other side TA has the same value as the weight 476 newtons which was the original weight of the ball as given by the problem now this is of course because of the symmetry but you see that the whole point of this situation is make different free body diagrams to include forces that are described by the third law thank you very much